Hey guys, it's Misko here. So when it comes to freelancing, you might have realized that some of the best clients and projects don't have the biggest budgets. And sometimes the clients with the biggest budgets aren't the best ones to work with. So if you are sitting confused within this dilemma, trying to figure out how you should price and which client you should take on and which opportunity is the best, then I have created a very simple framework that I've been using for many years to help me assess the best opportunities. Because over the last four years, I have generated over $4 million in UX design work. And what I have realized is, sometimes the clients who come through with the lower budget actually pay you long-term dividends moving forward. So without wasting any of your time, let's jump right into the framework and show you and break down step-by-step -step on how I make these assessments. All right, let's get into it. So here we have the three Ps to the perfect freelance project. Let me break this down step-by-step -step for you. So when it comes to the prospect, what I'm actually looking for is I will assess the client. I will see do they have a large network? Are they influential in the startup community? Because what I want to assess is, if this project does moderately well or if it does really, really well, will they have the networks to broadcast our brand? Will they have the networks to tell other people about the work that we did? Because ultimately, when the project completes, I'm hoping that they will have the people to tell the success to and actually help us spread the word of the work that we do. Remember, in the example that I just provided you, some of the clients that came through with a very low budget actually have been paying me long-term dividends because they consistently bring through more and more referrals and leads because we did a very good job for them. So that is prospect. Now, in terms of price, what I try to assess is what is the budget that they have? Because if the client has a very low budget, then the compensation needs to be paid for in other forms. So if they don't have a large budget, I wanna make sure that the potential and the prospect is very strong. So even if they can't pay upfront, then hopefully those long-term dividends of word of mouth or referrals or people finding out about the, their success and actually coming to us, those are the leads that I'm looking for. And then we have the potential. So ultimately, what I really want to avoid is, and I'm sure you want to avoid is, spending a lot of time, do, spending a lot of hard work, producing a really beautiful and really thoughtful product, but the founders actually don't have the experience to execute it, and they actually don't even get it to market. So what I really look for is, do these founders or the clients or the potential prospects have the potential to really make this successful? Because if they do, then I'm happy to offset some of the other P's in the three P's that make the perfect freelance project. So now that you understand the prospect is about what, how large their network is, how influential they are, how many people do they know, what are the chances and likelihood that they're actually going to be able to refer me more leads, then we know that the price is more about if they have a low budget, something else needs to compensate that for. And then we talk about the potential. Will they actually have the experience to actually make this successful? So now that we understand the three P's, well, how do we utilize this triangle? So if the prospect, let's say, does not have a large network and most likely won't be able to actually bring me additional leads, then I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they're going to have a meaningful budget for the work that I need to work on and that the potential, that the likelihood of this actually getting to market is going to be high. Because if I'm taking the gamble and I'm saying I potentially won't be getting any word of mouth or any referrals from this project, then I do want to get compensated for either the budget, so it's actually meaningful, or that the project will actually get some sort of meaningful results because then I actually have leverage in using this as a case study for future clients. If the price is low, if the client doesn't have a high budget, then ultimately the potential or the prospect needs to be very, very high. In other words, the prospect must be influential in the startup community if they can't pay me enough upfront, then I'm hoping that their networks, the people that they know, the likelihood of them actually referring more leads will be high. And I'm also hoping that because they have these nice networks and strong networks, that they also have the experience to really make this project successful. Then we have the last P, which is the potential. Now, if this client, if we make an assessment that this client probably does not have the potential to make this a successful project because of X, Y, and Z reasons, then I'm hoping that the prospect has enough of a network to actually get us out there, to bring in referrals, to share the good news about the work that we do, 
and that the price and the budget is very, very meaningful as well. And once you've made the assessment of all three Ps, then all you have to do is gently smash that like button to show your appreciation of this free framework that I'm sharing with you guys. So if you realize that the way that I assess my clients and potential prospects is very strategic and I need to make sure that two out of the three Ps have to be exercised and I have to feel very, very confident about them or else I'm actually taking a very big gamble and in return, that project might not be the best project for me. So hopefully you found this extremely useful and I really do hope that you can utilize this 3P framework that I've created in your very next assessment of a new lead that comes through. And by the way, I am releasing a full freelance course. So there are details in the description. So feel free to check out the link. And that wraps it up for this video. I will see you guys in another video very soon.